I'm here in Low Vintage Music Store in downtown Burlington, North Carolina. Now, this place has probably the best music inventory that I've seen in the North Carolina area, at least the Piedmont. I mean, they have all their guitars. Pretty much everything they have is at least $1,000 or more. But, you know, if you want something, if you want an old vintage guitar or an old violin, mandolin, or bass, this is the place to come. They did, however, get rid of a lot of their electric guitars. He said they just weren't selling, so he shipped them to Nashville for his buddy to sell. So, the they do have a few electrics. And uh, there's a here's a couple here. Here's a, a 2000. And here's a this is a 2012 Gibson Les Paul. And it is made in USA, so you always want to check for that. There's a water low. Oh, this is a, that's a new. But I want to show you. Like this is a Gibson. This is an old Gibson uh, J35, 1941. 12,000. And their prices are fair. I mean, if you, they're, uh, they're very fair. But all these, these, a lot of these are old Gibsons. This is a 1959 Gibson SJ. I was just telling the owner that I, about uh, an old Gibson. I just bought a Gibson LGO from 67, which was a low end. And he has one that's similar. Let me see. Here's a Gibson LG1, of course. This would have been a, a higher, LG1 was a little higher end. But. Look at these. Wow. Big. Some big bases, huh? King Martone. I like the Jimi Hendrix concert poster. That's pretty cool. A little sitting area, a little Woodstock pillow. Oh, I didn't notice the coffee table. It looks like a guitar pick. <laughs> that's all. That's pretty. A, a Fender guitar pick. No, not a guitar pick. A, a guitar headstock. I'm sorry. And here's some good old banjos. I don't know a lot about banjos, but but there's the name of the uh, their company. They were established in 2004. Deering. Looks like they have a lot of Deerings. Good time. And they always they always welcome people to play the guitars. I'm, but I'm not real comfortable picking up a five thousand dollar guitar and helping myself. I'm, not unless I'm really planning on buying it. That looks like that has some good age to it. Look at that. Kind of. I think it's always kind of cool when an old guitar has some. A little bit of wear to it. Gives it a little character. That's a 1934 Gibson right there. Gibson L50. And 2200. It's not too bad right there, actually. There's a Martin.
1938 Martin. 15,000. Wow, look at that. There's a Reeves. I want to see what year. This is a 1931 Martin C3 model. Yeah, I'm telling you, these guys got some really good ones. Yeah, I sort of hated they got rid of They had some cool electrics, you know, old Telecasters and Strats. But hey, well, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, Collings. He said this is, uh, Collings is a big Austin, Texas. These are really popular in Austin, Texas. Yeah, these are a couple Collings right here. There's an Epiphone. This is an old 1966 Epiphone. So, they got some good ones and they have everything you need. Guitar chords, picks. Here, here's some, they got a nice collection of straps and Buffalo High music straps. See, there's a nice Dobro's. Fishman amp. Okay, oh, these are nice Gibson mandolins. Hey, look at the old Crow Medicine Show concert poster, concert art. Well, hope you guys enjoyed, and keep in mind this is in downtown Burlington, and I will see you guys next time.